Sutra. They loved it how he regulates and subdues the obstinate beings so that they can learn what causes suffering and what brings bliss. Each one sent his attendants to pay their respects to the world honored one. At that time, the thirst came one's mind and emitted billions of great light clouds. Commentary They lauded how he regulates and subdues the obstinate beings. What is subduing? People, and perhaps particularly the Chinese, enjoy delicious foods. They season our plain vegetables with five different kinds of flavors sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, and salty. So spicy, and people who do not like spicy foods will not eat that dish at all. Too sour, and those who do not like sour foods will not eat any of that dish. Too bitter, and most people do not like it. Even when it is too sweet, some people will not like it. So the flavors must be balanced. Each seasoning is just right, neither too much nor too little. People enjoy foods that taste good. The same applies to the Buddha Dharma. Some prefer this practice, others prefer another practice. Some prefer Christianity, while some prefer Catholicism. Some prefer Islam, while some prefer Taoism or Confucianism. Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam are five major world religions. They are said to be five, but they are actually one. How are they one? According to the Buddha's Dharma, everything is the Buddha Dharma. All religions and their practices are included here. Catholicism, Christianity, Islam, Taoism, Confucianism are all included in all Dharmas. None of them transcend all Dharmas. No religion will say it has no Dharma or is beyond the Dharma. Actually, there is no Dharma outside the Dharma. All Dharmas are the Buddha Dharma. All cannot be acquired. No, you have really come home if you say all Dharmas are gone. I would not try to come up with a way to deceive you, telling you that you will get something good to eat. No, there is nothing. To begin with, there was nothing. How do we know? The great master Sikh Patriarch said, The body was without a tree, the mirror without a stand. Originally, there was not a thing. Where does dust alight? Since there was nothing to begin with, where will you find dust? Since there is nothing, dust cannot dirty it. All these dramas are the Buddha Dharma. People who understand know that all dramas are the Buddha Dharma. There are right dramas and wrong dramas, ultimate dramas and non ultimate dramas, good dramas and bad dramas. Cultivation requires practicing the ultimate dramas. It's like walking. If you have an airplane, you can definitely go from the Americas to Europe. How long would you have to walk if you were to walk from the Americas to Europe? Besides walking on land, you have to trek across the ocean too. When you get to the ocean, you have to take a boat which is slow and takes a long time. It would be faster if you were to take a plane. This is analogous to cultivating the non ultimate dramas. You must cultivate for a long time before you can reach your home, Buddhahood. Cultivate the ultimate dramas and you will reach your home soon. What are the non ultimate dramas? It is like all non Buddhist dramas that are somewhat helpful but slow. Ultimate dramas are means of cultivation that accord with the Buddha Dharma. Speaking of disciplining obstinate beings, Shakyamuni Buddha will not begin by criticizing anger to angry people. He would say, Anger is not so bad. Afflictions are just a body. Can you do that? 
is no problem that you are angry. Afflictions are just a body. Birth and death are just a new one now. Make him feel as if it is not too. It's not bad to have a temper. Although I have a huge temper, body is not small. So he tries, and the more he tries, the fewer afflictions he has, and the bigger the body. Afflictions decrease by the day, while body increases by the day. It is body to reduce afflictions. Tell obstinate beings this kind of dharma. How does the Buddha speak to weak and fearful living beings? They will, they have no will of their own, always afraid. They tremble from hearing a cat's meow, leaving their body from hearing a dog's bark. They are afraid of any movement. So the Buddha said, "Do not be afraid. Study the Buddha Dharma, and it will help and protect you. Speak credibly to fearful beings like you, and it's like comforting babies."